はいこんにちは今日はくださいとお願いしますの違いを見ていきましょう So today's topic is the difference between くださいとお願いします、so、Through my experiences 100% if you study Japanese you have this question Can you answer the question? Let's check the difference Before diving into the difference, I have a question to you. Let's say you are in a restaurant. And what would you say in Japanese to order a glass of water? Water is mizu in Japanese. You might need a word. Just in case, I prepared some options for your answer. Do you wanna check them? Okay, option A. Mizu. ください。水ください。オプション B。水お願いします。水お願いします。オプション C。ウォーター、プリーズ。This is a little tricky one.Water, <笑> please.Are you ready for your answer?Then, as you know, you can get water with all of the options. Even the sea, water please, works. But I'm not gonna talk about it here. Now, let's check the details of ください and お願いします The first point is with a noun. If you use ください with a noun, like 水ください which is literally water please. It's a very simple and direct sentence. So, if you want a glass of beer, you can say, ビールください。ください gives the simple and direct impression to people. It's not rude, but not the politest way. If you use お願いします with a noun, like 水お願いします。It means, can I have a glass of water in English? In Japanese or maybe in any languages, always it's the longer, the more polite. That's why お願いします sentences sound soft and polite. Hope I explained the difference well. Now, let's go back to the question. Again, What would you say to order a glass of water? Is your answer the same as before? Now we know the nuances. ください is more simple and direct. お願いします is soft and nice. If you can choose the answer knowing them, you are a little bit more advanced. The next point is with a verb. Stay with me. The second point is with a verb. If you use ください with a verb, the verb must be te form. Verb te form plus ください is for making a request to someone to do something. For example, if someone, most likely your teacher says, Mite ください to you, you have to look at something. If someone, most likely, a police officer says, Tomate kudasai to you, you have to stop and you might be in trouble. Like this, if we want to make a request using verbs, you need to use verb te kudasai. On the other hand, you can't use onegai shimasu with verbs. For example, when you want to say, Could you say it again in Japanese? You can say, もう一度言ってください and もう一度お願いします。言って is to say, so verb plus ください is good. もう一度 one more time is an adverb. And this is a common mistake of Beginner students, もう一度言ってお願いします。Now we know 
You can't use verbs with onegaishimasu. So it's a wrong sentence. Onegaishimasu is only for nouns and adverbs. For example, if we wanna say, could you speak slowly? You can say, yukuri onegaishimasu. Yukuri slowly is an adverb. If you are in a restaurant with your friends, and if you wanna pay separately, you can say, betsu de onegaishimasu. As we saw, onegaishimasu can be more convenient because you don't need to conjugate verbs plus sounds soft and polite. Okay, this is all about kudasai and onegaishimasu. With nouns, you can use both. With verbs, you can use kudasai. And with adverbs, you can use onegaishimasu. Kudasai sounds simple and direct. Onegaishimasu sounds soft and polite. Hope I clarified all of your doubts. Thank you for watching. If you still have questions, please let me know. ありがとうございました。またお願いします。